Hey everyone, today we're doing a book review on The Pearl by John Steinbeck. The copy of The Pearl that I had was from the Penguin Classic Collection. The intro was written by Linda Wagner Martin and the illustrator was Jose Luis Orosa. Orozo. I really thought the intro was really, really good. It actually gave me a lot of information on John Steinbeck's history and his life. I actually didn't even know much about him. It just gave me a good introduction of his life and some of his story and like what led him into writing during that time and especially writing this book in particular. He grew up in a part of California where there was a lot of Mexican immigrants and he grew up around them and saw how their way of life was very different from the traditional white American, American dream life. And that inspired him to actually write this story. And The Pearl is about a Mexican man, a Mexican family, and the main character is Kino. Kino is a poor, Indian Mexican man who actually finds the pearl of the world and he believes that his life is magically transformed and his wife Juana and his son Coyoto will have a, a new wealthy life that he was able to win by finding this pearl. Kino becomes really obsessed with these dreams and a lot of evil spirits and darkness comes over his life with this sudden wealth and fame because of this magic pearl essentially. And his wife, Juana, who represents the light and purity and peace, often reminds him that he needs to humble himself and look beyond just the light of the pearl because there's a lot of darkness within that pearl and she sees it and she wants to remind him and let him know that he is changing and he needs to stay grounded and recognize that this pearl may not actually be as good as he thinks. And what I really like about his wife, Juana, she is actually very loyal to him throughout the book. She is written in a very loving way she often gazes at him with such patience and beauty and she is a really devoted wife to her husband. She truly loves him and she really really loves her son. She's very attentive and is often making sure that he is well. And the young son, he doesn't have any words, he's a, he's a baby essentially, but his character is actually really important. So we see that some of the obsession that came from Kino was because he was a poor man and he saw his son as the next opportunity to leave poverty and he thought Kino thought that this pearl would be able to give his son an education that's something that Kino stresses throughout the book that yes my son will be able to read books and know what's in those books and be able to be a successful rich man I thought that was really really beautiful you know I feel like even now we see or to just move up in society in a way and this was something that is so innocent and this is what he wanted from that pearl but unfortunately that sudden fame actually brought a lot of darkness in his life and the story is about what that part darkness did and how he overcame it or if he did overcome it. I highly recommend this book. I really really enjoyed it. It was short. It was a novella. It was only like 90 pages I want to say. I got through it in like a day. I don't know if you want to get a really nice short read and learn more about John Steinbeck's work before some of his longer more famous books. I think The Pearl is an excellent opportunity to start with. Um, and actually the intro, Linda was talking about how this book was written to be set up to be a film. So there's a lot of descriptive scenes in the book that you can see probably transformed into a movie scene. So I, when I read that, I actually also had that going on in the back of my mind. It's like, oh, okay, like what would this scene look like? And I haven't even seen the film, but maybe one day I will. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my book review on The Pearl by John Steinbeck. Please let me know if you want to do any other book reviews. Thank you and have a wonderful day.